guys, it's Keisha, and welcome back to the Keisha story. Um, today, I thought going on a little adventure with the family, and so why not bring you guys along? So, um, right now, getting something to drink. Everybody's really thirsty, especially this one over here, a little grumpy. He's thirsty and, and hungry, does not bode well at all. And then, of course, Suseku. she's manning the camera. I think she <laughs> does that so she actually stays out of videos, but no, I don't know. But thanks so much for just coming and hanging out with us. If you're new, welcome, and I hope you stay. And so I'll take you around with me, and we'll see what happens. So talk to you guys later. Bye! Here comes Daddy with food. Yay! I love food. I forgot I, I said to hear, which means they always do to go. So I should have said to go, and they would have done it over here. I don't think that's <laughs> how that works. <laughs> what? Just eat what's here. Hi. Okay. No, you're supposed to be talking. Is he doing recording? So, as you can see, there's Mr. Grumpy. And instead of talking to y'all, he'd rather shove fries in his face instead. What? So one of these days, we'll just have to sneak up on him and catch him talking when he doesn't know it. Hide it in a stuffed animal, you know, like the nanny diaries, put it in the bear. That's scary. Or I don't know, <laughs> or something to that effect. Or a pin, perhaps, you know, some kind of James Bondish kind of thing in order to be able to catch him talking. Because as far as you guys are concerned, he's a mute. But, uh... <laughs> He's even holding in the laughter that normally comes out. But I promise you, he does talk. <laughs> I know, it's not a figment of our imagination. He actually does talk. Um, we'll probably maybe need to catch him when he's not eating. It's a little dangerous to approach. He's a little hangry right now. Yes, he is. <laughs> he's getting better as he's getting something to drink and Oh no! Lost your fries. Knock him Ooh, over. That would have been bad. So, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Now you know that the only reason why he's so <laughs> is fight for them. <laughs> you will not touch my fries. You are my fries. You have your own over there. You lose them too bad, but not today. Not today. <laughs> oh my so welcome gosh. to the normal things that my family does. So um, yeah, maybe we'll catch him doing some other kind of things that are but not strange. <laughs> when does that ever happen? <laughs> I don't know. But hopefully we will find it. Get out of here. This is, this is really bad. Yeah. No, it, it really is. Because they put up a sign that says that they are acceptable. And I beg to differ. Yep. You can't, yeah. I can't Let's even. Let's go for it. Hi, this is Keisha, and so here is a perfect example of someone telling you that their store is handicap accessible. However, let's go take a look. First of all, we have here. These areas are not in regulation for your wheels to go through. Here's another area. It's not in regulation for your wheels to go through. I can't even get through that side over there because it's too small and it's too narrow. I can barely fit through here. I can't go this way because my wheelchair won't fit. Look, my wheelchair can't fit. The only way I can is if I shove this table around. So to say that you are handicapped accessible, but it actually isn't so, is appalling and it's frustrating. So, please, oh please, if you're going to put that little blue sign with the wheelchair on it saying that your store is accessible, actually make it accessible. Please, and thank you. They lie. They lie. They lie. They lie. 